I think uh, the newspapers uh, always like to focus on the story, which at the moment is negative. It's not. It's not that positive. Uh, I think it is quite tough uh, but again if the business is organized in a right way delivering what their customers want then people like I'm hungry direct are always going to succeed and grow because they're going to be giving people what they want so certainly for us uh, it's great uh, for others yeah uh, I think it's a time when they've got to sort of look inwardly and say what do I need to do to get better it's tough it's challenging it's really really challenging um, but I think today being a sellout I believe is um, just goes to show that you know, perhaps a change is around the corner and things are going to start changing, but I'd be a liar if I stood here and said it was anything different than tough. It is a, a very tough marketplace and that goes to show how important education is to give you that little bit of an extra edge over your competitors. I think every time you open the paper it's very depressing. I try not to do it. Um, I don't think it is that depressing. It's very up and down. One day it'll be deathly quiet and the next day mad busy, so there's no pattern to it. But overall I think it's steady. Um, yeah, we're, do we're doing well. Um, and I think, yeah, overall, it's a, it's a steady market out there. I think it's a balance at the moment, you know, tough times, and in some, some businesses, pay rises are difficult maybe, and, and rewarding staff in the right way can be tricky, and I think getting the right balance of financial reward, the workplace and the environment and the opportunities gives creates the right environment. So, you know, luckily as a business, we're fortunate to be in a quite strong position, but I can imagine, and we, but we certainly see these training exercises being valuable to staff, and they see it as them being valued and taken seriously. Uh, with the glass half full, then things are, are where we need them to be. Um, to say it's easy is probably a bit of a, an understatement, but um, with the spread of businesses that we have within Astro Abloy, then that we're achieving and we're achieving where we should be. Um, but uh, I think you feel every month as, as the year goes by, and I think the, the industry is certainly resonating that, that point as well. You're training for the future. You're not training for now, and even in hard times, training is one of the things that actually makes people think this is worth sticking at this job. I'm going to stay with it. I think that uh, you know all of the uh, numbers that are coming out of the Construction Product Association, um, you know, talking with developers and clients, you know, it, it is a tough market. Um, there is no real light at the end of the tunnel, but I think you know that generally the AI you know business is resilient. And I think that we've all had to take some very hard looks at our own businesses and adapt our business models accordingly. So there is no shining light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but I think that, you know, we've got through, you know, a couple of very, very difficult years. And I'm sure if we will remain focused. Um, and again, you know, invest in the future, then, you know, everyone will get through this and probably come out the end in far better shape. Um, I think there's work out there. I think we deal quite a lot with the smaller side, of smaller businesses. I think where some of the bigger companies have perhaps find difficult, some of our larger customers have found it difficult, actually the smaller ones are really taking benefit.